This is One on One. We are pleased to welcome Dr. Thomas Romo, founder and medical director of an organization called Little Baby Face Foundation. Good to see you, doctor. Thank you, Steve. How would you describe the organization? Well, the, the organization is a nonprofit that provides low-income families, children, with free reconstructive surgery of any facial birth defect. So we specialize in bringing children and their families to New York, mm. uh, and we cover all the costs, and we do room and board transportation, and we bring them here, and we provide free reconstructive surgery of any facial birth defect, emphasizing uh, New York, the United States, but also children from out of the country. How'd you get into this? You know, the standard model, I'm, I'm a plastic surgeon here in New York, I have been for 25 years, and the standard model for philanthropy, I, it's tough for me to be an investment banker, uh, <laughs> give you ideas about what to do, but I know surgery on the face pretty well. And um, the standard model for philanthropy for plastic surgery is to go to India and take care of children with cleft lips or go to Nicaragua, which is wonderful. But the problem is those children actually have many more problems than that. They have a lip, a palate, right. a teeth problem. They have phonation. They, have, they need PE tubes. And I used to go on those trips, and I would say, like, why don't we take care of this or why don't we take care of that? And they say, well, we're the Cleft Lip Foundation. That's right. And I'm also looking at the amount of, of uh, the, how we can help and how much need there is in this, in this country and in this community. I mean, we operate on kids from Queens, from Harlem, from uh, Brooklyn uh, all the time and we provide these services for free. So uh, they, these are life-changing uh, surgical events. Well, when our friends at uh, Century 21 told us about the organization, some of our producers were on the website, and it's just extraordinary. And so we thought it would be important for us to show a couple of pictures. Sure. And for you, us to, uh, be, I hate saying before and after, but it is before and after. Yeah, yeah. Could we, Jackie, this is, is that Gabriel? That's actually a little girl that we brought here who had a birth. That's Aster, I'm sorry. Aster, yeah, it's Aster. Uh, and Aster lives in Ethiopia. And someone showed me an x-ray, a CT scan of this child and said, uh, can you help this kid? And I said, well, yeah, why not? And then of course it took my staff a year to get her here. And we flew her from Addis Ababa to Dubai, Dubai to, to New York. And we took this seven pound uh, congenital tumor off, uh, which would have never been done. And it was gonna, would have cut off her airway uh, she's actually gone back, and now she wants to become a physician in her community. So it's it's a really cool. Uh, it, this uh, you know, a child with a facial birth defect, and the parents. You know, people say, well, you can get that taken care of, and where, but how? You got to have the right. physicians, and you know, our own hospital corporation of this city is running out of money horribly, and and you you have to be able to. You can't take care of high blood pressure and sugar diabetes. Right. So if you have a child with a complex uh, birth defect on their face. How are they going to get treated? You can't get that done. So we're providing those services for free through the Babyface Foundation. Extraordinary. Um, I believe this is Gabriel. Can we show Gabriel? Gabriel's got uh, Pierre Robin. Uh, he's uh, 17 years old. He's got a twin brother uh, who is normal looking and he has this. And the thing is, is that these type of birth defects affect these children emotionally. Uh, it, uh, they can't get a job. They can't go to school. So I think not only does it, you know, we like what we're doing, but it also breaks the uh, cycle of poverty sure. uh, that these families have. Someone has to either stay home with these kids. This is Gabriel. That's Gabriel. Yes, yeah, Gabriel. we brought him to New York. We did a distraction. We brought his face out. We stretched his bones, and then we put implants into his face. Uh, and now these kids, they end up going back to school and becoming productive citizens. So we're, uh, we're pretty happy about it. And Jackie, can we show one more? This is a child uh, who had this growth. Uh, it's a vascular tumor. They're in the social system of uh, the UK. UK said we can give them some pills or some injections, and it started blocking the vision. And if you block the vision, then the, the eye never sees eventually because it's blinded. And so this child would have been blind. So we brought this kid from south of London uh, to New York, and we took this uh, vascular tumor off. And again, we provided free transportation room and board. Uh, Northwell Hospital provides uh, the uh, anesthesia and the facility fee for no charge. Uh, and I have 40 doctors uh, who are the courageous ones who provide this all these services for free. And recruiting yeah. them is uh, really interesting. Five, over 500 children. Yeah, we do about 50, uh, 50 a year. 
And so some of and some of them need two or three procedures. Um, uh, but uh, it's a it's a good thing, and it's uh, helping the community. Yeah. And I think it's what we need to do. So some of these children, um, their lives in school, you know, I imagine it's tough for them. Are some of them bullied? Yeah, we hear stories about the bullying. We hear all kinds of stories. I'll tell you what, it's as interesting for us to have patients come to us and hear their stories about what they do and what they go through. I mean, some of them, are like literally that girl from Aster, I mean, she lives in a, in a grass hut in Ethiopia, and they didn't have any indoor plumbing or any, you know, they hadn't taken a shower before. So when you take them and bring them to the, north, to the Upper East Side in New York and put them in a hotel or, or Ronald McDonald House, sure. they're going like, this is incredible. So... They've been bullied. They've, I'm sure they've got all kinds of uh, problems. But this is a group of surgeons, and it's a surgeon foundation group that that guys have decided. You know, I recruited guys these guys. Guys and women, right? Guys and women. Oh, absolutely. We have uh, a lot of a lot of women involved in and uh, and different specialties, and you, and you recruit them by saying, "Listen, you want to give back, and you don't have to go to Nicaragua or India. You can stay here." Use your technology. All I want to do is add a kid to your OR schedule a couple of times a year, and they go, okay, no Most problem. say yes? Most, everybody says yes. And I think this model could be put all over the United States. There's, there's enough physicians that we went into this because we're altruistic, and I think that they, we could drop this into Chicago and L.A. and Houston or Dallas, and I think we could provide these services for kids throughout the United States. 80% of our kids we operate on are from the States. What does it do for you? What does it do for me? I don't, you know, I think this is what we're supposed to do. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, it's, I think we went into medicine because we're, we are altruistic and we want to help people, but we're so busy doing what we do every day. You know, you have busy practice. And so if you can make it easier for these guys, for doctor physicians to give back, then, and when putting roadblocks up, and, and, and there's a lot of roadblocks for practicing medicine, if you can make it easier, the doctors are interested in treating patients, whatever we can give back, and I think you can make that statement really globally throughout medicine. The organization is called Little Baby Face Foundation. Uh, Dr. Thomas Romo uh, is the founder and medical director. Um, good stuff. Thank you, Thank brother. you very much. Thank you, Steve. Brother, you happen to also be Tony Romo's Cousin? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's good stuff. Yeah, it is good stuff. Good. And, 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 you know, I was hoping he was going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. This special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Tisch WNET studios at Lincoln Center. Funding has been provided by Felician University, Bartley Healthcare, Century 21 Construction, New Jersey Sharing Network, Adler Aphasia Center, The Fidelco Group, and by ADP. Promotional support provided by bestofnj.com, covering all New Jersey has to offer, and by New Jersey Family Magazine and njfamily.com. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.